So on my desk here today, we have the Creality K1C, and they reached out a couple of weeks ago. They sent this machine over for testing and evaluation. And I'll be honest, so far, I've been having some pretty good results with this machine. Now, this isn't a full review video of it or anything like that. My initial impressions are pretty good. It, it's nice to see Creality moving on from just, you know, copy and pasting and pumping out the same V-wheel bed flinger in slightly different configurations end over end till the end of time. The market has changed and now enclosed Core XY machines are the thing. And what runs these machines? Clipper. And this has Clipper too, but it's Clipper with quotation marks and an asterisk. And when you look at the bottom of the ad, there's really small font you can barely read that has a bunch of stipulations. And that's what we're gonna be talking about today because while this runs Clipper, it could be a lot better once you put the things back in that Corality took out. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. So let's get started. So first, quick little rundown. This is an enclosed Core XY machine. Can print ABS, ASA, it's got an all metal hot end. It's what we're kind of expecting out of a modern 3D printer. It's got a webcam even, and it's actually a pretty nice webcam. Web interface, web connectivity, it's great. It, it, it's, it's the quality of life features you're expecting out of a modern printer. But there's more to it because there should be more functionality to this machine but Creality has removed it. So first off, let's take a look at a problem I'm currently having with the machine. So if you take a look at this little rocket model here I printed in some Sparta 3D uh, Galaxy Orange ABS, you can see we're having some banding here near the bottom. Now I'm not, I'm not really seeing it near the top here. So what I'm thinking, this may have something to do with the bed PID loop. Um, so there's different ways of controlling how heaters keep uh, requested temperature. And from my understanding, the stock configuration uh, of the Creality K1C uses watermark control for uh, the bed heater. I wanna switch that over to PID, which is what most of my other printers use. Uh, I've taken a quick look mechanically at the printer. I don't really see anything that could be causing this mechanically. So maybe it's just a configuration issue. So let's load up the web interface. Cause again, this is running Clipper. We have a nice web interface. So let's load up the web interface and take a look here and um, where do I go to get my printer.cfg? Where can, where can I adjust that? Where's my console? How do I baby step? How do I even just, you know, tell it to retract filament? That's right. While this machine runs Clipper, it's actually running Creality Print, which is Creality OS. I, I don't know the whole nomenclature of it. I haven't really looked into it because essentially, this is just a really bad skin that removes a ton of the functionality of the machine for no real reason. So if you've never used Clipper before, uh, with Clipper, the way Clipper works is on a, we'll just use an example from like a Voron. You have something called a Raspberry Pi or some sort of other computational unit that's running Clipper. So unlike the old days of Marlin and Ramps, you don't have one single controller controlling the whole printer. You have a brain, which is usually a Raspberry Pi or equivalent, doing all the processing, running the web interface, running everything essentially. And then it takes those commands and it delegates them. So it'll send commands to the tool headboard for the extruder to function or the heaters, or it'll send the commands to the main controller that's controlling your motors for your XY motion system, for example. So Clipper is very adaptable and it's very powerful because you have the the power of essentially a Raspberry Pi or equivalent to throw at your problem. So as you can see here in the web interface, we have this nice webcam, nice and smooth. It's nice and crisp. We have this fully functional web interface, but this isn't what you should be seeing. So I'm gonna pull up another printer here. This is my Magneto X that I'm also currently testing. This is another commercial off the shelf machine running Clipper, but it has mainsail. And mainsail is one of the three popular choices for uh, clipper interface. You have mainsail, you have fluid. They both basically do exactly the same thing, just different interfaces developed by different groups. And then you can use Octoprint if you want, really. Um, but as you can see here, we have a ton of functionality. And guess what? It, it's fully customizable. You, you can move stuff around. You want your webcam in the middle, you can do that. You can change it. You can set it up for different screen sizes phone sizes, et cetera. You have a ton of functionality here. And guess what? You wanna change settings in your machine? Well, you just go down to machine here and uh, oh, hey, here's your printer.cfg. You can start changing stuff. You wanna, you, you, you modified your printer, you got more Z, cool. You can just go in here and tell it you have more Z. You wanna change it to a Delta? You could tell it it's a Delta. It's Clipper. You have a lot of power here, which has all been removed. 
by Creality. So why did they do this? I have a few different reasons maybe. Um, one of the common things I've heard is it's a branding thing. Simply, if you are a company, you have investors, it sounds a lot better when you get up in front of the board meeting and say, hey, our printers are running Creality OS. They use Creality Print and uh, we have our own slicer. It's, it's, Creality, it's Creality Slicer or whatever. Well, Creality OS is Clipper. Uh, Creality Print is Fluid and uh, your slicer is either probably Cura or Prusa slicer with skins on them essentially. So one of those sounds really good to investors. The other one is like, okay, so you just took open source stuff and modified it. It doesn't sound as good. So I don't know exactly why Creality does this. I really wish they did it. And I'm gonna show you how you can undo this. And it's actually very easy. Now this process is extremely simple. It's fully reversible. And uh, it, it's literally you're copying two lines into a SSH terminal and then you're just picking numbers. And I will give Creality props where it's due, credits where it's due. Um, they make this process relatively simple. So the first thing you have to do is you're gonna have to get root access to the printer. You're gonna have to SSH into it, which Creality leaves the door open for you. So obviously you're gonna have to go ahead, you're gonna have to set up your machine here, update it to the newest firmware, and then you're gonna have to connect it to your home network. And then you just go into your settings. And then there's a setting called root account information. Uh, when you click that, you're gonna have to wait 30 seconds before you hit okay. Uh, but that's gonna tell you your login information that you need to connect to the printer. So we're gonna move over to a computer now once we get that information. I believe it's the same for all printers. It's root and then the password is creality underscore 2023. Um, so let's go here and this is the wiki on how to do this. I'll have this linked in the description. Uh, full credit to the creator of this wiki here for doing all this work because we're essentially just gonna copy and paste some things here. So there's a whole bunch of stuff here on the side. You are just looking for the helper script installation right here. Um, so this works on the Creality K1 and K1C series. You have to be on certain firmwares or higher for this to function. If you have a brand new machine running the newest firmware, it'll just work, it should just work. Um, and we are gonna have to SSH into it. Now, if you've never SSH'd into it, if you're running Windows, it's really easy. Open up your start bar, just type CMD, open command prompt, okay? Then you're gonna type SSH root at you're gonna need the IP address of the printer itself on your home network. Just the IP address, none of the HTTP stuff. Okay. The password is gonna be Creality underscore 2023. Verify with your machine that that is the root and the password. There is a chance it could be different. Every machine I've seen it so far has been the same, uh, but you can just pull it up on the touchscreen on your machine to make sure you have the right one. Hit enter. Hey, look, we're in the machine. It's that easy. Now we're gonna have to copy and paste some commands. Now, I've already installed this on this machine, so I'm just showing you, I'm just going through the motions here. Uh, but the first thing you're gonna have to do here is you're gonna have to git clone a bunch of information to the machine itself. Now, I've already done it on my machine, uh, so that's why you're seeing this error here. And then the next thing is, you're gonna have to open up the uh, script for the installer. Now, if you have played with Clipper before, this is gonna look like Kiao a lot. Uh, Clipper, Installer, and Update Helper. This is basically a version of Kiao for the Creality K1 series of machine. Uh, and do you wanna update? There is an update, I'll just update it, might as well. Okay, cool. Uh, please restart script. There we go, cool, we're in. Um, so you have several different options here. The one we're gonna be concerned with is install. You hit one. And these are all the things you can install. So personally, install pretty much anything you want. Uh, you are gonna have to install Moonraker, okay? Uh, and then you can pick your interface here, Fluid or Mainsail. I went with Fluid just because the default interface that's included with this printer is a butchered version of Fluid essentially. So I'm gonna show you what the full version of Fluid offers. But if you like Mainsail, you could install Mainsail. Uh, you are gonna have to install some utilities here. So make sure you install both of these. Uh, a few of these also require some pre-existing stuff. It'll tell you. So if you go install something, it's like, oh, you're missing this package. Just go install that package and then go back and install. You're just literally typing the number. So uh, some things you're really gonna want, in my opinion, you're gonna want camp, um, nozzle cleaning fan control. Just, just put everything you want in here. So for example, I already have fluid on here, but if I wanted to install mainsail, 
Um, I literally just type three, because it's made sales three, and you hit enter, you hit yes, and then it, it installs. Th that's it. Th this is like the simplest thing you can do. Easy peasy. Um, and then if you wanna go back, you can go back. And if you wanna see what I have installed in here, um, I believe it's under information. And these are all the packages that I've installed. So if you want your machine like mine, uh, this is what it looks like. So after you have everything installed, um, you're probably gonna have to reboot the machine. I can't remember if you have to, just give your machine a reboot. You probably should anyways. Um, now you can access the new interfaces. So at first, when you connect to the machine, it's gonna look exactly the same. It's gonna look exactly like this. Nothing has changed because it still has Creality Print. But if you wanna get to Fluid, uh, you just put in port 4408. Oh, hey, look, here's Fluid. So now we have the full featured Fluid interface in here. Uh, we have Camp, I've added a ton of macros. We can go to Configuration here, printer.cfg, find my bed, boom, boom. Hey, look, I've switched it from watermark to PID. I've hit save, I've rerun a PID tune because hey, look, we have our consoles back. So now I can put, you know, G1 move commands. If I want to, you know, do maintenance on my machine and just drop the bed to, to, to max, I can just type that and it'll just drop. I don't have to sit there and mash the up and down button a million times like on a bamboo machine. Um, so yeah, now we have the full interface. And guess what? If, if, you, if Fluid's not your thing, you want main sale? Well, guess what? It's port 4409 after you install it. Oh, bing, bang, boom. Now we have main sale. It takes a little minute here for it to open. Um, and I'm gonna show you why in a second. So yeah, voila, now you have fluid main sale, ton of macros, ton of options, camp support. You have the whole shebang. You have full clipper on here. There is a caveat though. So now that we're back in the terminal, I'm gonna talk HTOP. That's gonna tell us the current status. As you can see, right now the machine's at idle. When you are printing, this thing is pretty much maxed out. There is not a lot of overhead to this controller on this machine. You only have 209 megabytes of RAM. It's a dual core. Um, so far, I haven't run into any functionality limitations, but this machine's running at the limit hardware wise. You, you, you're, we're capping out that SBC, that single board computer that's powering this machine pretty much right off the bat. <laughs> there, there really isn't a lot of room to grow once you start printing and, and, and doing some of the more functional stuff of Clipper. So far, I haven't run into any issues, but that's just something you may wanna be aware of. If Clipper adds some really cool features down the line that require more computational power, you may not be able to do it with this machine, but it's Clipper. So if you really want to, you probably could swap out the, uh, the controller for just a Raspberry Pi and a Big Tree Tech board if you really wanted to uh, and reuse the hardware. So why do they do this? I, I really think it's simply a marketing and a branding thing. And what can they do to make this better? Well, it's, it's quite simple. Instead of having us have to go through this whole process of installing uh, a user-generated add-on script and then adding manually reinstalling features that Creality have removed, they could just take a page out of what most modern slicers do. See this? See right above me here? Let me, let me, let me scroll up here. See, see, see right here? We have simple, uh, advanced and expert. And all you do is you just have buttons that you just switch between the two. So, you know, it's okay if you wanna ship the machine with a stripped down interface to make it, you know, baby proof for newbies into 3D printing. That's great. I love, I love making things simple for people that are new to a hobby. But for those that know more about the hobby and wanna get the most out of their machines, why not just have a simple button that turns on expert mode that gives me all this functionality instead of me having to go through an entire process of installing a script and extra packages just to get back the things you took out of the machine. <laughs> it, it, it's not rocket appliances. Just, just give the people what they want. And, and if people want Clipper, they want Clipper. They don't want whatever this is, okay? Just, just make it so you know. Make it, make it like Android, where it's an Easter egg, where you like double click on the logo a couple times, and then we get we get all our features back. It's 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 not that hard. You you, you had the stuff and you took it out. Just put it back in. <laughs> so yeah. So that's how you could take the Creality K1 series of printers and uh, basically 
take back what Creality left on the factory floor. So uh, yeah, I'll have a link in the description for this guide. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can learn more stuff such as this, hang out on the live streams. And uh, if you wanna help support the channel, the content I create and the things I do, I have links in the description. Some of them are affiliate links. Don't cost you anything extra, go a long way in supporting the channel. And if you wanna help support the channel directly, consider becoming a channel member or joining the Patreon. I'm Nero3D, the Canuck creator. I hope you learned something new today. And yeah, it's your printer. You should have control to do what you want with it. Cheers.